came back out in the second with the offsets, was three tenths of a second slower on offsets, and is now back on the start times. We'll see what all has got. Many shocks head down into one way, three wide out of the turn two. John falls with the raceway. Problems in car number 32. Battle is on for third. We'll give us in the bottom side of Adam Perkins. Perkins, a two time track champion, no bouts in high base. Reel in. They've got that. They took full advantage of all the mini stock rules here that we have, the openings for everything. That is a K20 power plant in that Honda CRX. He is out to make hay today. Swansea Oil, 46 New Hampshire. Gordon Farnham, your 2021 Battle of the Belt champion, leads him down into turn three. Bob Williams, Ricky Vissette, Adam Perkins, and Chris Judd rounds out the top five. Battle of the Belt champion, Manan Knox, Speedway Mini Stock champion. He's here to take it to him. He wants every point he can get. He wants the National Division 5 championship. He's got an opportunity for it right here. As Donnie McCaffrey almost finds himself in the turn two wall. If anybody wants to chase down Gordon Farnham, it's Paul Williams in turn number 41. Ricky Bissett sits third, Williams teammate, they got another teammate right behind him, car number 87, Adam Perkins, the Perkins fan at home about the race sponsored ride. Chris shut up in your top five, the Fultz brothers sit just outside six and seven, John leading Chris. Corrected, I was corrected up here, John. There were some problems this year on the 46. Louis Mayer, our old Roadrunner champion, actually won their championship this year. I thought it was Gordon Farnham. He won nine races, ten races up there, but did not capture the championship. So he's got that national championship well in his sights. He wants that. Now the Pure Stock point leader, the Donald of the Pure Stock, is going to go lap down. Donald McCaffrey giving plenty of racing into the bottom side. Race leaders make a melee by teammate Train. Williams, Fassett, and now the 87 of Adam Perkins make their way by. I'd love to see Donnie do something. <clears throat> oh, McCaffrey out on the front straightaway, almost there on the outside wall. How are you two the pace and wrecking? He's giving it all she's got. Driving it all the way to the rim and almost to the outside wall. Donnie McCaffrey going to get it back going. 10 laps in, out of 25. Gordon Farnham showing the way. Bob Williams, Ricky Vassett, Adam Perkins, Chris Judd, one through five. Solid run for Chris Judd. Chris Judd's been working on that 51 all year at the Claremont Motorsports Park. A lot of work's gone into getting that thing up to speed, getting that thing right. Good to see Chris Judd having a solid run here today. We're going to lose the other Fultz brother now. Both Fultz brothers out of the running. John Fultz heads into the pits and Chris follows him two laps later. Gordon Farnham showing the way to the halfway signal. The Swansea Oil 46 New Hampshire leads him to the green. It leads him around once again. Gordon Farnham, healthy lead over Bob Blomock, Bobo Williams. Jeff James now going a uh, full lap down to the field. They'll be coming up here on Donnie McCaffrey on the outside. McCaffrey almost lost his car a, a few minutes ago, coming off of turn four. Second and third all over each other. Bob Williams at the garage, sponsored number 41, with Ricky Fassett all over his back nerf bar. Gordon Farnham about two to three tenths faster than the entire field. Battle is on for second, and here comes Ricky Fassett to the inside. The Santos problem in its RPMC 3 to the bottom side of Bob Williams. Down in the turn of one, we're side by side. The teammates show to toe for the number two spot. Ricky Fassett takes it now in hot pursuit of Gordon Farnham. Ricky Fassett, I believe he's your points leader for the mini stocks here. I don't have the list in front of me. That's old. Well. Definitely up at the top. We'll try to get a up-to-date points list up here so we can give you the rundown. We had last week's point list. Of course, everything changed last week. Actually, mini stocks weren't here, so we should. Nope, they're not on our list. As 
McDonald goes a fourth lap down now in an 18, la 18 laps. Really highlights the difference between a pure stock and a mini stock. As the leaders make their way by, Donnie McCaffrey gives them plenty of racing room on the bottom side. Bob Williams still rounding out the top three. Falling off the pace of Ricky Vissette. Vissette starts to come to life now. Five laps. The race leader, Gordon Farnham in that Swansea oil, number 46 NH. Good, healthy lead just about the entire back straightaway over Ricky Fassett. Fassett's definitely the fastest of the home of the homegrown guys. He'd like to take it to Gordon Farnham in that second feature. James going the second lap down to your race leader. Ricky Fassett is running faster lap times in the late stages than Gordon Farnham. Does Gordon Farnham still have plenty in the tank? I think when you there's there's no there's the, 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 there's no direct intense pressure. Save those tires. You need them for the next feature. Two laps remain at the front of the field. Gordon Farnham leads him down the back straight. He's led him from the pole. Wire to wire for the Swansea native as he puts but on the fifth lap down now in the oh no. Avery holding on for dear life out there in car number zero no. Adam Perkins trying to sneak in his way by the lap car, son scheme. Checkered flag is out. Golden flag and running. The action's so intense we missed the white flag again, John. Well, Gordon started pull shot and shot out of a cannon. Things bad fast right out of the box. Yeah, his car was good all day. Uh, we didn't change nothing when we came here from Manadnock last night, so it's nice. Uh, but we'll see on the second race we got to invert, so sucks that we didn't have a good car count. We are hoping for a good car count today for national points, but hey, I thank my sponsors, Swansea Oil, the off ramps band, hard color powder coating. Um, my whole crew all year has been a stellar season for us. Um, Todd and Lisa for coming out and helping me today. Without them, I don't have anybody here today. So thanks to fans and Hudson for having us.